first of all, we'd like to welcome everyone to the new time slot. All right. 10 to 12 Eastern, 7 to 9 Pacific. What's going on, everybody out there all across the land? Of course, you're tuned into the number one station on the net, Hotline Radio. This is the Keith Harris Show, and of course... What's going on, everybody out there all across the land? Of course, you are back with the number one station on the net, Hotline Radio, and this is the Keith Harris Show, and I am your guy, Keith Harris. Now, I'm extremely excited to have these two special guests uh, on the line with us tonight. A a huge event coming up. Um, I, I like to refer to it as, as epic or monumental. We're going to uh, get into it and discuss it a little more. Everyone needs to know about this and what's happening. All right. Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce and roll out the red carpet for the co-founders of the Jersey City International Film Festival. Craig. Yeah. Yay. You did it. You did it. That was a great intro. Big, round, so big round of applause. Um. Craig Goletz and Michael Billy. What's going on, y'all? How are you, Keith? What a great night. Thank you so much for having us on. This is going to be fantastic. Thanks so much. Listen, it's an honor. And, and you know what? I, I got to say, I, I listen, I love the energy coming from the both of you. And it just, it, for everybody out there listening, that just lets you know that you need to be at this festival. Because if they can bring that much energy just right here, right now, imagine what it's going to go, how, how it's going to feel when the big extravaganza goes down and at 11 o'clock and at 11 o'clock at night yeah eastern <laughs> on a look right. on on a wednesday too right it's wednesday night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly um listen you know first of all i i you know i, I kind of want to ask what what where where did this all you know how, how did the idea come about is, is this the first um jersey city film um film festival well, we're in our second year, to be oh, honest with you, Keith. Okay. Um, it started, I guess, Michael, myself, my wife, and our other co-founder, Jarl Hogadal, got together. Michael, myself, and Jarl have been working with, um, who's now Mayor Steve Fulop of Jersey City, mm-hmm. on a lot of cultural affairs uh, initiatives. And we realized that you know there are a lot of independent filmmakers out there who are looking for a place to show their films mm-hmm. and looking for the opportunities to, to get them made. And, uh, you know, we put our heads together, Michael and Jarl been in the business for, for many years. And my wife and I, you know, are, are all about giving back to the community. And, you know, we collaborated and, and came up with this idea of the, the Jersey city film festival. Now, what, you know, being in your second year, first of all, I got to say, it must've been very interesting doing this the, the you know, the year before, and given the opportunity, how do you guys have people submitting films from from just inside of Jersey itself, or or is it you know international submissions, or are they outside of the yeah. country too? We have we have so many countries that have submitted already in our second year. Uh, we're really proud of the reach that we've been able to do, and it speaks to Jersey City. You know, I mean, if anybody out there knows Jersey City, hashtag Jersey City, you can see all the amazing pictures of our community, and you'll see it's a very international community. We have the most spoken languages um, per city in our uh, of our state. We have the largest LGBT community in the state. I mean, we're uh, ripe with, with ethnicities and nationalities and spoken languages, and our film festival really does reflect that uh, global view. Uh, so that's something we're really excited about. And also, we, provide, we, we help people make connections to build their career uh and that's something that a lot of you know that really stands out about our film festival that we give people the networking opportunities and the opportunity to attend workshops to really grow their career right and you know what it it seems like a a, a powerhouse team because of course you both uh have experience and what it takes to to just create an amazing festival and i mean i mean that you know with 
you know, with you guys bringing to the table, first of all, you already have experience in, you know, the film and television industry as well. And you guys also have the other half, which is experience in financing. You know what I'm saying? Or finances. So you, you kind of know what it takes to to bring the good films to the table and also make it a win win. Just, you know, just just on the economical side, because this. Well, I mean, yeah. Go ahead. Keith, you know, of a, as a talk show host, as an artist yourself, you know that the, the way to make it in this business is the best of both worlds, having a business mind and also having a creative mind. And what our film festival does is give access to artists and business people alike to merge those two concepts together so they can be successful in this career. Absolutely. And I think on our team too, Keith, you know, as you said, it, it's, it's probably, you know, the best in terms of the people we have, you know, Michael and Yarl are extremely creative, you know, they've produced, um, and like you said, I mean, I, I work for a major financial services institution, so I bring sort of that business project management discipline, as does my wife, so, and we have a great board, you know, a lot of experienced people, and I think the biggest piece that is the kicker for us is our partnership with New Jersey City University. Um, this is the second year that they've invested in us, and you know it's a great, great partnership. We have access to the university, to the to the faculty. Um, the dean of the School of uh, Media Arts is on our board. You know, the president is a huge uh, proponent of us, and uh, you know it's it's really, really been a great, great partnership. You know, with everybody that we have, and you know, last year we started probably in March with our submissions and we got 55 submissions um, wow. in a short period of time. We're, uh, we're already surpassed that for this year and uh, extended our, our, um, our submissions to the end of June now. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the submissions that we've gotten so far are absolutely amazing, uh, the talent that's out there. And, and that's really what independent film festivals are all about is, is giving you know these independent filmmakers that chance to have their their uh, their film shown, and, and then what better market? You know, we, we sit right outside of New York City, but you know we have the best views, and and then really really amazing city that's that's really focused on the arts. Yeah, you got you're definitely in a, you're definitely in a good position. You know, with, with where you guys are and just being located, because everyone, you know, everyone should know that you, you know, where you're at is, is you know, you guys aren't new in this situation. You know, there's a lot of things happening in Jersey as it is anyway. Right? Oh, yeah. And there are a lot of film festivals. I right. mean, there are film festivals. I've, when we approached doing this film festival, we always said film festivals are a dime a dozen. What can we do differently? <laughs> And one of the things that uh, we do differently is not only are we a, 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 a culminate into a yearly annual film festival, but we provide free workshops all year round for community oh, wow. members. For anybody uh, inside or outside Jersey City who's following us can look up a workshop on how to produce low budget, your first film, how to do screenplay writing, really the soup to nuts uh, workshop on how to get started in this business because we know what it's like to get started in this business. I think that's something that really stands out about us. Right. The, right. the other thing too, Keith, is that um, we also provide grants to filmmakers. So we gave our first grant this year to you know a, an up and coming filmmaker and it was really to highlight uh, uh, a volunteer organization. It's Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And, you know, the whole concept of it is to do a short PSA on them that then we could share across Hudson County to other organizations to show what the benefit is of volunteering, of giving back, um, you know, and, and so we were able to help out, you know, a, a new filmmaker and really to, to promote the, the volunteerism throughout the county. And, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. You know what, this is, listen, I like this because this is a big deal. In a lot of situations, you know, a lot of people holding festivals I talk to, you know, they, they make good moves. But what I, what I love about this is just how you two are talking about helping the community all year round. So it's not just a situation where, hey, we're, we're throwing a festival, we want, we want people to come in, we want to make some money, you know, you're actually helping out careers, even being tied in with the university as well. I can only imagine how many people want to get involved with filmmaking just after being a part of, of you know, of 
uh, of you guys film festival and what you do and your classes and your courses and helping others oh yeah through our film festival i can tell you in the past two years we've had volunteers that have you know showed up at our meeting have gone on to help make connections and produce television shows films movies i have a person that was a student of mine who now is a producer a real wow. producer that gets hired to produce television and a film uh and and they've made that that voyage through these workshops and the connect and the connections that they've been able to make that speaks to some it shows people out there that there is a way to make this crazy insane dream that you have happen Right. And it's through connecting with other people. Yeah. Right. The other situation we had to Keith, was we had a young woman who lives in the city. You know, she sings opera, but she wanted to do a music video. She called us up and said, "Hey, I need somebody to to shoot a video yes. for me." Um, and then you know, we looked, we thought about a couple of the filmmakers that we dealt with, and you know, made a phone call, made a connection, and within uh, two weeks, she had a video completed shot totally here in jersey city premiered it and you know it was a total win-win like i said wow. before i mean wow. we've made a lot a lot of connections to our film festival right now what what if, if if you guys can say what are some of the categories of of films that you all will will be accepting or looking out for like i mean horror genres or um you know maybe drama or or is it just a a, a, a oh, open range okay. Let's talk about television to begin with. That's something that really sticks out about us. Uh, you know, web series and television uh, screenplays have never been more popular uh, than they are today. It gives the average bear, uh, the average person out there, the opportunity to really tell a story through uh, a small shorts uh, on web series that are promoted through their websites. So we made a home for those web series and shorts uh, in our film festival. So. For people out there that are developing comedy shorts, web series, um, documentaries, short documentaries, LGBT, the LGBT uh, genre as well uh, is something that we specialize in, and I think we did you know, include a horror uh, category this year as well. So. Okay, you know what that 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 is that is you know what that is huge because like like you you know just said that is almost the the new thing now where people are shooting web series and it's a great it's a great category because everybody can't go out and and shoot some sort of big film people don't have the the finances exactly but they can start shooting these little web series with their friends and you know what let's give them a stage for those new new people that are entering the business a stage where they can interact with people that are making movies so we can take them a step up and let them move forward in their career that's really what it comes down to Right. You know, <laughs> that, that me, what I was going to say is, you know, in the beginning, we, we talked about you know, why we wanted to start the film festival. And I think the differentiator and Michael hit the nail on the head was, you know, the television component and the year round um, programming that we have. A lot of film festivals, you know, they're once a year. They may have a couple things going on later. You know, we we had our film festival in October and by November. You know, Michael had rolled out our um, our workshop series that ran, you know, up until the holidays. We took a little break and then, you know, started them up again in the spring. We've had over six workshops already this year. We still have another four or five yet to go, you know, which will kind of through the summer. On June 24th is our huge summer blockbuster party that we're going to be having. A big, big event here in Jersey City. You're going to come, Keith? you got to come. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be a real June 24th. Cool Hey, I'm on the East Coast. I think I'm gonna need to. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, wow, that's this month too. Yeah. Okay. We'll be on our VIP list, Keith. Hey. We'll be home by eleven o'clock to do your show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Yeah. That, listen, as you guys pointed out, by me having a web show, I can do it from anywhere. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> I, 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 look. We can. Matter of fact, we can do it live from the block party. As a matter of fact. I'm all about it. That is fantastic. Absolutely. Now, um, how, how how do you all go about uh, selecting your, your panel of judges? Like, is there a lot of judges or a few? Or Well, we have a number of uh, members of the board who are on the submissions committee. So, you know, we have we use a, a tool called Film Freeway, which is a, an online um, 
submission vehicle platform um, where filmmakers submit their films and then a number of the members of the board review the films and then we do a scoring sheet and then our director of submissions tallies everything up and then we make recommendations as to the films that are going to be included in the festival and then we have a professional um, jury uh, made up of members of the uh, you know community that are filmmakers um, the uh, the dean of the uh, School of Media Arts at NJCU New Jersey City University is, is on as well and they're given movies based on the categories that we would be judging or giving awards on and then they watch them and then they determine you know mm-hmm. who's going to be best picture best cinematography you know whatever the categories so are so between academics professionals in the uh, arts as well as uh, people that aren't professionals in the arts we do have a, a couple people that are watching and reviewing the films that are that are audience members too we believe oh. that's an important thing to include when we're when we're looking at our films as well okay okay so now what are what are some of what are some of the ideas or or, or qualifications that that you all look for from people who are submitting the films because a lot of people are doing it and and you know obviously i know you guys are you you want to show love to everybody but there's still i'm assuming has to be some sort of of standard uh as to what makes it and what doesn't what do you guys look for you know what it comes down to is the ability to tell a story and the ability to reach your audience and what we found is that you know last year we've had everything from a documentary on a on a beat poet uh, that was incredible to, you know, webisodes that tackle the everyday life of, of gay men in their 30s. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the, the storylines, they vary. But the way the uh, creator, cinematographer, the director, the way all the components come together to tell a story is really what we're looking for, to be able to give people a platform to tell those stories and an audience the uh, opportunity to hear stories that they would not normally hear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What um, what, 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 what if, if you guys can say? Because I don't want you to give away too much necessarily. But at, I'm assuming there will be some awards probably given out. Uh, what uh, are there certain categories? Yes, best radio show. And Keith, you are up for that. Hey, look, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm gonna let you finish. But as soon as I heard you say best radio. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Uh oh, I have got to figure out how to um how how to get involved with that." We'll talk about that later, you two. <laughs> so, yeah, you are the winner. But um, um yeah, so, uh, best radio show. Uh, we we do have some great awards. Uh, Tony best narrative, best documentary, feature film. Um, we also have the LGBT genre, like I said. And what I can tell you as well for our listeners, jcitff.org. jcitff.org. Hashtag JCITFF. Find us on social media and the website. We can talk to the cows come home. But, you know, if you're a filmmaker out there and you want to get involved, want to find out about the genres, it's so easy to submit your film. You go to filmfreeway.com and look up JCITFF. It'll come up right there. You submit. Um, and it's as easy as that. Uh, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, Michael, this is a question for you. Okay. Because I, I, you know, I, I always talk to people in the industry, so I have to ask this question. All right, what? When did you know that 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 you were, you know, when when did you make the decision to be in, you know, in the the industry of television and and so forth yourself? Because you you've been on a few different shows. Um, you've done the next American Gay show, the one. Um, and and a comedy, Bad Parents. Uh, where did you? How did you uh decide to to be in the business? You know, when I was a kid, uh, my family would sit around and watch, you know, the, the Golden Girls. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Golden Girls, every once in a while, would tackle these incredible topics. You know, gay marriage, Blanche had a gay brother, and I myself am, am out as a gay person. Right. And, you know, because of that show, my family was able to start talking about really current issues that we weren't normally talking about as a family. And honestly, that's when I realized that television and film is the key to entering people's homes and hearts mm. uh, to, to have these discussions. And that's how I did it. And I did it with comedy for many years on different television shows. 
Um, but it's always been that same through line. Te- film, television, I hosted a documentary series on PBS as well. But that's always been the through line. And you know what? You, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Great question. No, thank you. You know what? And and you brought up Golden Girls, and I, I I have to say that was one of my favorite shows growing up. It's a funny show. It's really funny writing. Golden, look, they were look, they they were uncut. I will tell you what I liked about them. They were uncut. They were funny, and, and they were really direct. You know what I'm saying? And I think that they they, as you kind of spoke about, they really dived into into situations that people sometimes were afraid of even back then you know nowadays a lot of things are are, are more on the table back then you kind of had to you know watch the golden girls and some of the stuff that they would say you'd be like oh i can't believe these little old ladies said that you gotta respect that nobody was talking about gay marriage in the 80s that no. never happened so i mean there it is, and that's how. That's why film festivals are so important. That's why giving people a platform is so important. Because you know, when people are sitting around the television and having a moment, I mean, it can really change lives. It certainly changed mine. Right now, um, where, uh, where, uh, now, what are some of the other? Uh, because obviously, I know there'll be uh, film screenings and things at the festival. But would there be um, some other events or, or you know, um, some vendors and things like that? Well, we generally have um, what we call like an after party. So, you know, after the first night, um, you know, we'll have a big event, a party. I mean, that's very, uh, that that atmosphere is a very um, entertaining. It's a red carpet with uh, step and repeats, a lot of photographers, you know, getting interviewed by. We want to give people an experience. You know, these first time filmmakers, a lot of them are first time filmmakers. Some of them have been in the business for a long time, but. Our thing is we want to give people the, the red carpet experience that we see on television in Hollywood. We want to make sure that those indie filmmakers are the star of the show. So we try to do events uh, all weekend long and throughout the year. You know, we have this uh, summer blockbuster party on June 24th that we're uh, selling tickets to now. And, you know, again, you can go to jcitff.org for that. Um, but there's a red carpet. And if you, you know, get a, you can get a ticket online show up and i will see you on that red carpet make sure you get a picture um yeah we've got we've got a lot of stuff going on like that oh yeah i know that oh, look yeah. I, I i know the cameras are going to be flashing on that night absolutely um and and uh, like you say people can go to uh to go to the dot org to find out the prices of, of the tickets but are, are you guys able to you know kind of give an idea of what the admission um is on here or Absolutely. The tickets are. Yeah. I, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Tickets are. Go ahead, Morgan. Um. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, our, you know, it's so funny. You know what? You go to jciff.org. I gotta drive people back to the website. I do. I do. I do. There um, you. There are, yeah. Yeah. I, that's a smart way to do it, Keith. Right. It, it is. That look. That that's why I asked that question first. I said to myself, I go, you know what? Maybe they should go to the website to try to figure that out or, or to get tickets. But um, uh, listen, and, and that's a good idea. You guys know what you're doing. Um, now, how long are, are you all still accepting submissions um for the festival, or is it too late? Or no, we're still accepting. Yeah, through um through June thirtieth. Oh, okay, okay. So everybody out there hearing that, definitely. That's it. June thirtieth, yeah. film filmfreeway dot com. Uh, and you can search JCITFF. You go to filmfreeway.com slash festival slash JCITFF. Um, and that's the, there it is. That's where you're submitting till June 30th. Right. right. So every everybody out there on the West Coast, um, you know, uh, out on that end, don't just think that, you know, don't, don't just get involved with the West Coast. Make sure you contact these uh, people and get involved with that film festival too. Whether you're just sending your film or, I mean, whether you're just sending your show or whether you're going to get on a plane and fly out there also and, you know, just kind of, you know, schmooze and shake hands on the red carpet. It definitely seems worth it. Well, they're coming to meet you, Keith, because you're going to come to the June 24th, uh, the opening uh, summer blockbuster party. And, and look, and I'm going to be at the after party too, y'all. All right. <laughs> I, I, All right. I, I can't miss that. Look, I can't miss the after party out there in Jersey. Now, that's a big I'm deal. Sure. I am down to after party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've already got uh, seven international submissions, right? So we've got Sweden, we've got 
a few Iranian films, which oh. are uh, animated, Turkey, Greece, Bulgaria. So, you know, wow. West Coast people wow. better get submitting. Wow, that's going down. Oh, that's right, so everybody heard it June 30th. Listen, it's it's been a pleasure. It's been an extreme pleasure talking to you. Uh, uh, listen, is there anything I didn't bring up? Anything I'm, I'm leaving out? Uh, no, just jcitff.org, hashtag jcitff. Mm -hmm. Always find us on Facebook, Instagram. Check out what we're doing, what we've done in the past year. Um, and remember, our party's coming up, the summer blockbuster party is that kickoff. Um, we hope everybody can make it. All the information is at jcitff.org, and our festival is obviously in October. You can find ticket information on jcitff.org. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Now, all right. I, look, I, I want to ask in October on what date, but then I want to echo you too and say go to jcitff.org to find all of that out. Right. The dates are October 16th through the 18th. 16th through the 18th. Okay, there you go. All right, listen, um, look, I'm ecstatic. I'm excited about this. It's going to be a big deal. I want to send a special shout out um, also to Jose Maisonette, okay, for um, also, you know, kind of lining everything up. And listen, I'm really looking forward to seeing you all. This is, I, 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 look, I've got a lot of events to go to, and this is one that is going on the top of my list. Excellent. After party with the key. <laughs> hey, it's going down. Um, listen, everybody out there all across the land, do your thing. The weather's nice out there. Uh, check the weather report, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny. Get your hotel room, book your tickets, get your flight. Head on up to Jersey. Enjoy yourself. Check out some uh, some great new shows and get involved with these guys. Oh, also, and I encourage, I also encourage upcoming filmmakers as well. Because, again, I, I, I want to re, you know, re you know, we talk about, I like how they are doing things all year round. They're not just asking for your money. They're helping you grow. They're helping you gain knowledge. They're giving you a platform. And especially for people out there doing uh, webisodes and web series and things like that. So get involved. There's a lot to, to gain out of this situation. So listen, again, I thank, I thank you all for coming on and talking to us. Look, and we'll be talking again soon. We'll, and we'll see each other uh, soon. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you, Keith. All right, and listen, before before you go, I want to let everybody out there know, in case you are just tuning in or you missed some of this conversation uh, between Craig Oletz and Michael, Billy, and, and shouts out, and, and big shouts out um, to uh, to the lady in the background also, to, to um, because <laughs> I, I, I heard her back there. Look, I heard her back there helping you, keeping you guys on point. Thank you, Keith. You're, I'm the train that keeps the... the you know, the engine that keeps the train going. Hey, look, behind 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 every great organization is a strong, powerful woman. Absolutely. Got it. Yeah. No doubt. Um, so yeah, everybody make sure that uh in case you miss them some of the conversation, you can catch this full uh conversation posted on social media shortly. So you can go back. Uh make sure also you go to J C I T F F dot org for all the information you need listen um on behalf of everybody out there and from us we congratulate you guys on all your success and of course we wish you much more success in the future and we'll be talking to you soon thank you thanks keith thank you absolutely hey uh, before you go i gotta ask you so what it's 11 o'clock it, it's it's not bed well it's a little past 11 now but look it's not bedtime right now out there uh is it Oh, totally, man. Yeah. <laughs> right now, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Listen, I'll be talking to you soon. All right, Keith. Have All a right. great night. You too. Everybody out there all across the land. Wow. Uh, wonderful, wonderful organization. And we definitely look forward to that. All right. Everybody out there, the Jersey City International Film Festival. All right. So you make sure you get involved. Um, as they say, go to J C I. F F dot org. OK. And um, check it out. Also, I will be posting. I will be posting their site, their website that you all can go to and find on my page as well. OK. So I look forward to seeing them soon. Everybody get involved. Make sure you submit your films. It's a big deal. Make sure you go out there, have some fun, hit the after party. 
um, and get next to the red carpet. You know, get some some autographs. Uh, probably have some good food. I'm assuming. Just enjoy yourself. That is October 16th through the 18th, and the big block party going down June 24th. Everybody out there, you listen to the number one station on the net hotline radio, the Keith Harris Show. I am your guy, Keith Harris. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. First of all, we'd like to welcome everyone to the new time slot, all right? 10 to 12 Eastern, 7 to 9 Pacific. What's going on, everybody out there all across the land? Of course, you're tuned into the number one station on the net, Hotline Radio. This is the Keith Harris Show, and of course... 